Patterns of Fever The normal body temperature varies from 36 degrees Celsius to 37.5 degrees Celsius. Fever, or pyrexia, is an increase of more than 1 degree Celsius, or any rise above the maximum normal temperature. Fever can present in any one of these patterns, namely, continuous, remittent, intermittent, and relapsing. If the patient's temperature remains above normal throughout the day, and does not fluctuate more than 1 degree Celsius in 24 hours, then it is said to be a continuous fever. It is also called sustained fever. Such fevers are seen in lober pneumonia and typhoid. Stepladder fever is a type of sustained fever where the temperature rises gradually to a higher level with every spike. Continuous or sustained fever is usually not associated with true chills or rigors. Stepladder pattern is characteristic of typhoid and typhus. Temperature spikes fall daily with diurnal variation of more than 2 degrees Celsius, but don't go down to normal. Remittent fevers are often associated with infectious diseases such as infective endocarditis, rickettsia infections, and brucellosis. If the patient's temperature is present only for some hours in a day and remits to normal for the remaining hours, it is said to be intermittent fever. The elevated temperature returns to normal at least once every 24 hours. Intermittent fever is seen in deep-seated infection, abscesses, kala azar, malignancy, and drug fever. With intermittent fever, the temperature is elevated, but falls to normal or subnormal each day, while in a remittent fever, the temperature falls each day, but not to normal. In these two patterns, the amplitude of temperature change is more than 0.3 degrees Celsius and less than 1.4 degrees Celsius. Either of the two patterns can be called hectic when the difference between peak and trough temperature is great, 1.4 degrees Celsius or more. Quotidian fever is a hectic fever occurring daily. If the patient's febrile episodes are separated by intervals of normal temperature, this pattern is known as relapsing fever. It is a variant of the intermittent pattern. Relapsing fevers may be seen in rat bite fever, malaria, cholangitis, infections with Borrelia recurrentis, Hodgkin's disease or Pelebstein fever, and other neoplasms. In Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale malaria, fever occurs every 48 hours, so the periodicity of fever is tertian that is, tertian malaria. Whereas, in Plasmodium malaria disease, fever occurs every 72 hours that is, quartan malaria. Most fevers follow the usual diurnal pattern. Disseminated tuberculosis, typhoid fever, and polyarteritis nodosa are important exceptions in which, reversal of the usual diurnal pattern, called typhus inversus pattern, is observed. A reversed pattern is also seen with old age and with salicylate ingestion. The double quotidian fever, of gonococcal endocarditis, has two spikes in a 24-hour period. Fever at 48-hour intervals, suggests plasmodium vivax or plasmodium ovale. 72-hour intervals suggest plasmodium malariae. While plasmodium falciparum, often has an unsynchronized intermittent fever. To get more such high-yield medical content, don't forget to subscribe. Basidia Med. The easiest and fastest way to take advanced clinical history.